Hello, everyone out there. This is Mark Rizzoli for the Gloves Are Off podcast. Tonight is Joe Biden's State of the Union. It actually should be a state of emergency. Joe Biden and the radical Democrats are importing third world killers, rapists, and gangbangers who have now set up shop from coast to coast. Crime is out of control. The New York governor has to deploy the New York National Guard into New York City subways, along with the New York State Police, because crime has gotten so out of control. People randomly being pushed in front of oncoming trains. I mean, this immigration policy is insane. But Joe Biden, he'll want to talk about insurrections, Bidenomics, but not go into the facts. The facts are that his policies, along with the radical Democrats, have disregarded national security and public safety. This is a conversation that we should not be having in a post 9-11 world. We have young American women being brutally beaten to death, raped throughout America by third world savages because these sanctuary states are not cooperating with ICE. They're releasing these criminals before the ICE detainers can be used, before ICE can even respond. They're not even being notified. Steep price to pay for the radical Democrats wanting to increase their constituency. They're gambling with your lives. Because they don't care. It's all about them maintaining power. Joe Biden, the Biden family has sold out America. To China, Ukraine, Middle East, We have a U.S. Senator from New Jersey, Bob Menendez, Gold Bar Menendez, has been bribed by countries from the Middle East. Up and down the Democrat Party, sold out America. Do you feel safer today than you did before Joe Biden took over? I think not. For all you people out there who didn't like Donald Trump's tweets, what do you have to say now? Go talk to the family of Lake and Riley. Brutally beaten to death by a third world savage killer. How do you think they feel? All these elected officials who are violating their oath of office, deliberately violating federal immigration law, they all should be held accountable, criminally and civilly. We have Democrat elected officials targeting children and parental rights. They're obsessed with sterilizing children and, and, and sex change surgery, mutilating children. Bill after bill, trying to separate children from their parents, violating parental rights. This is what the Biden administration is all about. Identity politics. You've seen it from day one. But yet, he's going to lie tonight. He'll try to make Donald Trump seem to be some type of, of th- a thug, a Republican thug who wants to destroy America, when in fact it's Joe Biden and the Democrats who are destroying America. All in the name of identity politics. Billions of dollars, billions being spent on illegal immigration. While Americans are struggling to get by. Free school, free attorneys, debit cards, driver's licenses. I can't believe we're having this discussion in the post 9-11 world. We have an Iranian terrorist loose in the country. It's just never ending. It's time to take back America. And the way Americans take back this country is by voting. You must vote. Vote early, vote by mail, but you have to vote. And let us know how you're going to vote. You're going to vote America first, Donald Trump, or you're going to vote America last, Joe Biden. Apply common sense. For the Gloves Are Off podcast, this is Mark Rizzoli. And as always, please subscribe and share. And I kneel in church. I proudly stand for the national anthem. God bless America.